Hello my friend, Steve Gamlin here with the latest motivational firewood video. Today I'm going to speak about luck and how we make really cool things happen in our lives. And by the way, it has nothing to do with luck. It's all about taking action and knowing the desired outcomes that you want, which is the basis of my entire speaking career. Last Friday I had the opportunity to be a vendor for the third time in the last four years at Leslie Sturgeon's Women Inspiring Women Conference. Leslie, thank you so much for allowing me to be that guy several years running now. This year's keynote speaker invited by Leslie was Mr. Jack Canfield, who is the co-creator of the Chicken Soup for the Soul series and also the author of The Success Principles and numerous other books. Jack has been a hero and idol of mine for many, many years because his style is one which, when I listen to him in the car, he's having a conversation with me. And I've worked very hard to make my speaking and my programs mirror that approach and that attitude. During an exercise prior to Jack taking the stage, Leslie encouraged us to each get up and go introduce ourselves and shake hands with somebody we don't know. The woman next to me turned around and pointed, hey, there's Jack Canfield. And the little voice in my head said, hey, I don't know Jack Canfield yet. Walked directly over to him, held out my hand, he held his out. I introduced myself, thanked him for the inspiration he's given me, and told him that I am a speaker and an author, in part, because of the way he carries himself. And it's very important to me that I let him know that. I also shared that I was launching that day my brand new vision board program, which I consider the most in-depth program I've ever seen. And he asked if he could learn a bit more about it, which I said, uh, yes. When he went on stage for his second session that day, he was discussing vision boards. And he said from the stage, which blew my mind, I was just talking with a young man during the break, and he says he has the best vision board program in the world. Now remember, I said most in-depth, not best. But I was very honored that he said that and had a parade of friends turning around at that moment, looking at me in the back row and also approaching my table afterwards saying, how the heck did you get Jack Canfield to talk about your product? You're lucky. Call it luck if you want. I knew what I wanted. I wanted to meet Jack Canfield. That's why I invested in a table and was there that day on the chance that I might meet him. Second part, walked up to him, held out my hand, introduced myself. Was it scary talking to a guy who's probably by now a billionaire? A little. Would I have regretted not approaching him? Yeah. Just like I regret not having my picture taken with him. Duh, I was right there. <laughs> anyway, luck. It's not luck. It's putting everything together in the right order and taking the right steps to get where you wish to be and putting yourself in the right situations and having the guts to take the steps that might cause you to look foolish if it fails. Or if you tell other people, hey, I'm going to meet this famous person this week and they laugh at you. It's all about knowing what you want, take the steps to get there. And I hope that in some small way, this little story of meeting Jack Canfield has inspired you to get up, off your buns, and go do something that's going to take you to the next level. Where will my connection with Jack Canfield go with regard to the vision boards? Who knows? But I can't wait to find out. And I'm so glad that I shook that man's hand. Till next time, keep kicking butt, keep taking action. Best wishes.